In today's Madden 21 breakdown, I'm going to show you how to absolutely obliterate cover three defense from the gun bunch in the Carolina Panthers offensive playbook. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. My channel is devoted to helping you guys get better at Madden every single day um, through honestly learning as much as I possibly can about this game. I put a ton of energy into learning the ins and outs of everything for you so you don't have to do that. And so uh, if you want to get our latest tips and strategies every single day here on YouTube, I would highly encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Now, in today's video, we are going over uh, a cover three beater from the Carolina Panthers offensive ebook or offensive playbook. And if you have not already caught the full breakdown um, of Young Kiv and D Croft or the full gameplay, I would highly encourage you to go to the Madden Competitive uh, YouTube channel. Check out that gameplay because we are going to do a huge, massive film study. It was one of the best games that I've seen in Madden uh, this year. And there's just so much to be learned by two amazing, amazing players that I personally have a ton of respect for and have learned a ton from in the last couple of years. Now, I want to talk about this route combination that you can utilize out of the Panthers uh, playbook. But before I do that, if you want to get some more high-level Madden 21 tips, including uh, full, um, full uh, schemes and breakdowns and over 50 minute guides on how to stop the run or 50 minute guides on how to pass the ball or 50 minute guides on uh, how to stop the pass, I would highly encourage you to go ahead and join our text message membership, which is completely free for you to join. All you have to do to join that is send me a text message and let me know you'd like to be a part of it. My number is 812-216-3644. It's also in the top left hand corner of the screen and it's also in the description of the video in case you missed it. Now, Gun Bunch Offset, this is a very, very simple cover three beater. There's two primary ones that, I'm, that uh, you can utilize uh, specifically from right to left, and then there's one that you can utilize from right or from left to right as well. But the one we're going to be talking about comes from the Gun Double Post. One of the, I mean, I believe this is probably one of the best plays, if not the best base play uh, in Madden 21. I think a lot of people would agree with me in that assumption. But Bunch uh, users are definitely back in full force this year. Uh, and so I just wanted to give those of you that may be maybe trying this out um, a really, really good cover three beater. So anyone that's faced a lot of big nickel over G realizes that I think cover three is, is making a comeback uh, this year and is, being, is, is very, very difficult to defend or, or, or to basically consistently beat. Now, um, this you can you can do this without Hot Route Master. I'm going to show you a little tip with Hot Route Master that makes it very, very effective. But real quick, it's just very simple. And you can do a lot of other things with the routes on the field. But literally, all I'm going to do is I'm going to take Mike Evans, put him on a smart routed out route. And then what I like to do with the running back, you can leave him on this little in route if you'd like. I like to put him on an option route or a ghost route. I actually really like the ghost route this year. And what you'll see is if they're in cover three defense at the snap of the ball, I'm going to be able to hit this slot crossing right over the middle here, and this thing's going to beat cover three for a one-play touchdown. Now, what's really cool about this offense, most people don't expect that receiver to be the receiver you're going to be going to. Most people are going to expect that it's going to be this outside receiver in the bunch side. So because that's what they expect, you're really going to catch them off guard. And one of the things that I like to do with this play is I like to just do a little baby motion right here. Um, I think it just helps a little bit with this. But you see, I mean, literally, it's automatic. Um, the out route is going to pull, especially at a bunch. I think it pulls really, really well. Now, this play is best ran, at least in my personal opinion, to the uh, with the bunch on the wide side of the field. So you're running this from the wide side of the field uh, to, the, to the short hash. What that basically is going to do is it's going to allow this left side receiver a much, much easier chance um, or a much, much easier opportunity at you know basically getting you know really really good um really 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 good uh pull down on that route and we'll show you a couple of other things here in just a minute about this cover three beater um but real quick if you haven't caught our pocket presence video one of the best tips that i've ever i think ever released in madden 21 uh so far is a great way to cancel the auto drop back just by double clicking the left trigger it allows you to really um it really allows you more openings uh, within this and allows you to deal with some of the great uh, shed D's that you will face in Madden 21 if you have not already. But what you'll see here again, um, 
is you can pass lead that up and as you can see uh, Chris Godwin is going to beat the cover three now if you want to make this cover three beater like next level effective if you have hot route master there's two specific routes that I want to show you the first one is the post corner route um, the post corner route is probably uh, one of the better pool routes in Madden 21 and what you'll see here is that that corner on that left side is going to absolutely um, and of course as I say that he actually comes back on the ball um, but that corner route will typically do that now if you were to use PA dig fork that's where that route's going to be a little bit more effective because of the the specific type of post route that you're using um, and good old throw out a sack is just going to come and get us again but um, but what you'll see here, and let me just call up the dogs and show you the route combination here for a second. But basically, if I take Evans and put him on a post corner route, you'll see that you'll be able to just torch cover three. It pass leads it up, and you're going to get open and be wide open for a big, big, big time dot. But I did want to show you one other way to do it. And the other way to do it, I think, is a lot more fun. Um, but basically what you would do is you would come out with the bunch to the short side of the field, as you see right here, knowing the whole time that you're going to want to flip it. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Mike Evans and put him on a corner route. You would need slot apprentice or hot route Mister uh, master uh, to be able to do this. And then you're just going to flip the play. And what you'll see now is it's got a corner route paired with this little deep crossing route. And what you'll see with this is you will torch, um, you, will, you, will, you should torch, the cover three over the top the only way that they're going to basically be able to, to uh, get that and that's where i would say is if mike evans route goes a little too sharp so what you can or uh, goes a little bit too deep so what you can do with it is you can smart route it just to get it out there a little bit and what you'll see here snap of the ball make sure you pass lead that up and looks like he's still going a little bit too deep so you might just stick with the out route uh, if you were to run pa dig fork uh, again, this route combo would work because it's it's housing it's having to do with the fact that the post route is a little bit more shallow from from the uh, double post play, where for, whereas from deep deep fork uh, the play action play the post is a little deeper. So he's he's getting he's getting deeper against the defense right there as you can see. But uh, but anyways, guys, uh, cover three from bunch. Uh, I think a lot of people will try to go with something like that. But cover three, when it comes to defending bunch, has never really been the move. You'll see a lot of people will move towards cover two. Um, and this year, the slot streak is just like really, really, really easy uh, to hit against the cover two defense. So we'll show you this read, though, uh, again, against cover three so you can see it. See how he just kind of holds him and we're able to get it up over the top. He actually came back on that really nicely. But... If you mess around with the different hashes, like I said, you can run it from the short side. You can also run it with the bunch to the short side as well if you want. Um, that that's the out route is better as a pull route to the when you're running it when you're running it um, from the left hash. Okay, so when you're running it from the right hash, you're going to see the corner route is a lot more effective. Um, it has to do with the spacing. It has to do with the spacing. Um, of the route for the route to be able to have the the window to be able to run that's kind of the the critical thing that you have to under, un, understand so in in essence if they're if you're on the wide hash then you're going to run a corner um and get old throw out a sack it's just going to continue to kill me today so um we'll jump out of this in just a second but if, if you run that corner that will um typically pull down that deep zone um, and then here real quick, here's the out route one more time for you. This is now to the wide side. As you can see, it's just going to laser it right up the seam. So I would, I would, you know, tend to say, you know, use the out route. But the post corner and the corner are also options that you can use. Um, there's not a big reason to use either or because, you know, I think the out route's actually the best because if they do their zone drops to try to stop crossing routes, you're actually going to be able to hit the out route. So anyways, guys, that's the cover three beater from Bunch Offset out of Carolina. Um, there's multiple ways to beat cover three, but this was one of the best ones, at least in my, uh, in my opinion. Uh, it just does a really, really good job um, at beating the cover three. And it's really, really simple. You know, there's not too much to it. Um, it's just literally pairing that out route with that quick cross. And man, throw out a sack. It's just eating my lunch today. But um, yeah, in practice mode, the sheds are insane. You're not going to get these crazy sheds in game uh, most of the time, unless you, you know, and that's why in mutt you want to have a good line, you want to have edge protector, all those fun stuff, and that's going to make this even better. 
but as you can see, it does beat cover three and it does beat it to the outside uh, for one play touchdown. When you put the smart routed out route out there, um, it seems like it has a little bit of an issue uh, with the corner route. Normally, the corner route is actually much more effective than the out route, so it's interesting to me that um, it didn't work out <laughs> quite like I had planned it. But as you can see here, uh, one play touchdown against cover three. So if you're having trouble beating cover three, I would use this route combination from the Carolina Bunch. If you haven't texted in and joined the membership, I would highly encourage you to do that. We've got some really, really high-level tips and strategies um, for our text message members. And then if you have not already jumped in our Discord, there is a link in the description of this video where you can do that as well. I want to thank you guys for your time. I hope you enjoyed the breakdown. And we've got a couple more videos that we're going to be doing and bringing your way today. So uh, make sure you're subscribed and check out these videos on screen until those videos release later this evening.